Hi guys, let's talk about the wrists. The hand wrist action in the golf swing. That's a topic where a lot of questions were asked before and I also have a few students, they, they, want, they always want to know about the wrists and how they need to be cocked and stuff. Well, in the first place, you have to know that there are two different kind of wrist actions. First of all, you have this wrist action and then you have this wrist action. So, and then you have to figure out what kind of action you want to control or to work on. So, you know, if you, if you have this wrist action, it will certainly, you know, it will certainly um, come up with the, it's more about the left hand, how this angle of the hand will come up. So this has a responsibility about, about something of something totally different than the right Risk because the right risk is more responsible of really releasing the club because the release that's a question what I get asked a lot too what does a release actually mean the release is the right arm straightening and the right wrist straightening this is the release this wrist has never a real release when you know I mean in the end of the day this wrist action you can actually put on hold a little bit because I don't see golfers stopping the, the, um, the backswing like this mostly will just cock that wrist a little bit you know and this is mostly enough so if you want to focus in my opinion if you want to focus on one hand wrist action this is the right hand because the right wrist gives you the power and the right wrist is the release you know you cannot hit the ball like this you know, the power you always would get like this with the release. This release you also need for the pitch, for the bunker if you want to have, if you want to have the bounce in play. This is if you want to push down on it, if you really want to have a punch on it. This wrist has a lot of responsibility in the golf swing. So you can actually try it, you know, just lift away the club without a wrist. And then you cock the wrist and then you give it a go and you will see how fast the club will actually be or faster the club will be through the ball by just using the hand or the arm. So um, just to get a little feeling of that wrist, you of course, you always can hit a ball like this. Just wrist cock, set the club and just release it. Just do a few practice swings like this. Suck and release it. You know, this is just a good practice. The whole body is very quiet. It's just about the hands that you get a feeling for that right hand. Um, be careful. One quick tip or one little thing in a dress position. If you want to watch yourself or other golfers, sometimes you see the left hand being a little bit bent inside towards back to the belly button and then you have this tilt in your in your wrist here this is actually not 100 percent correct because if you think about it how you want to hit the ball you want to hit the ball with a straight wrist right so this is where you want to be i'm not a huge fan of having like a, a super uh, palm up position of that left hand and a super dorsal position because that you know that mixes up brains a lot i know that there are world-class players they have the top position right here and everybody wants to come in that position but it's a different story those players are a different story so what you have to be aware of the fundamentals of the golf swing and if you want to come to the impact to the ball you want to have the hands slightly forward and that you're supposed to do it right in a dress position and if you want if you have that correct that left or the front arm in a straight line with the club there will be no wrist cock in your front hand if you just set back the club you will have it you don't want it so just keep it like this and then you automatically have this little tiny bit of a wrist cock in your backhand anyway so you don't have to set it that much anymore if you start it like this you really have to work your hands a lot okay so this is a quick tip for your dress position and as i said you know focus more on that right hand that it will just go up and down and all of a sudden you have a really really good strike at the ball so i really hope i could help you a little bit with your questions what the wrist hand wrist action in the golf swing is supposed to be if you have any questions just let me know in the comments put a thumbs up to the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram of course so now 
Have fun practicing, and I'll see you soon.